Hey guys, so today we do the Q&A video with a bunch of questions from you guys. I can't answer every single one of them that I got asked, but I picked a couple and so we're gonna make this video, it's gonna be fun, whatever. So we're just gonna dive right into it because I wanna answer as many of them as I possibly can. Question number one comes from James O'Connor. Have you ever traveled outside of the United States? And if so, where to? Also, I'm thinking about starting yoga. How did you start out? Any help from YouTube, books, etc.? Okay, so I've never been outside the United States. I'm looking at going to Germany next summer to Duisburg to study some business on a study abroad trip. That's up in the air right now, but I plan on going to Germany next summer. Um, but no, nope, never been outside the United States. Not been very far in the United States. Mostly stayed in the southeast kind of area. Um, as for yoga, check out the description down below. I've got some links to some of my favorite yoga sites here on YouTube that really helped me out when I was starting out. Um, I went to classes two days a week at 6 a.m. in the morning, but um, th these channels help me further my practice. And then also just Google it. Just look up, you know, like yoga tutorials or stuff like that, or like yoga videos on YouTube, and uh, just kind of like go with it, find what you like, and practice it, you know? So yeah, second question comes from Little Corner of JP. Aside from going on adventures and being physically active, what do you like to do? Um, well, I do a lot of crazy things. You know, you guys know I do YouTube and, you know, play sports and I do yoga and I like to work out and all that kind of stuff. Um, but aside from all that kind of stuff, I am a huge fan of the arts. I love to draw. I'm not very good at it, but, you know, I like to do it. It's fun. It's relaxing for me. I love to write. That I do think I'm good at. Um, I've written several short stories, poems, a couple books throughout my days. Um, I love to find music that is so obscure that no one has ever heard it before. And that is probably like the most cliche hipsterish thing I will ever say in my entire life. I just like tracking down like good music and like I kind of like this song and then finding something like it that's better and then finding something that like it's that's better. And so I find exactly the song that I'm like picturing in my mind. And so yeah, you know, I love music. Um aside from that, I what do I do? What do I do? Oh, um, I also read tarot cards. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's a big thing down in like New Orleans, you know, voodoo kind of stuff. Predict your future with cards, and it's a it's a hidden talent of mine. Um, I got my tarot cards, um, not this Christmas, but the Christmas before last from my twin brother. And um, yeah, I love to read them and you know, that kind of stuff. It's really strange, it's really out there, and I know, but I enjoy it. So those are some things I like to do. Third set of question comes from B-Ball, and it is, what is my zodiac? And then a bunch of my favorite things, favorite animal, book, movie, song, etc. Well, so here's some crazy facts about me, I guess, some of my favorite things. Um, my zodiac sign is Aquarius. My favorite animal is a polar bear. My favorite song at the moment is Indian Summer by J-Wolf. Look it up, it's like my anthem right now. <laughs> um, my favorite color is blue. Color of my eyes, color of my life. Um, and my favorite movie, oh, that's a tough one. I like to have different like genres of favorite movies. Like my favorite documentary is Bridegroom, but um, one of my favorite like romance movies is The Lucky One. But then like my favorite like animation movie is The Fox and the Hound. So like I just have like different like genres of favorite movies. So like. There's some of my favorite-ish stuff. Bloop, 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 bloop. Next question comes from Kintki95. He asked, why are you still on campus? Are you going to summer school? No, as you can see, I'm now back in my house. I subleased an apartment for a month over in Starkville because I was training at the yoga studio downtown to be teaching there in the fall. And I'm still training up there, but I have a job back home. So I moved back home a few days ago and also um, had to come home for some family issues. My grandmother passed away. So I um, had to be here for the family, had to go be a part of all that. So finally moved home and I'm finally home for the rest of summer. And I will be going back up to Starkville training and working, but at the same time I'm back here working for the next month and a half for sure. So that's why I'm on campus. No summer school for me. Next question comes from Eli Lesh. Sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, how did you meet your ex-boyfriend? <laughs> um, I told you guys, you know, I don't really dwell on the past, but you know, it's okay to talk about it. And if you guys want to know, 
why not? So uh, my ex-boyfriend and I, believe it or not, I was walking out of a store in a mall in a town, a few towns over, and I was just walking out of it, you know, like doing some back to school shopping before my senior year and just ran smack into the guy. I mean, 100% wasn't even looking, he wasn't looking, we just ran into each other, I fell down, you know, like looked up, saw this glorious man in front of me and I was just like, hello. And um, one thing led to another and, you know, we just started dating and stuff like that. So it was literally a run-in chance, like something out of a romance movie, believe it or not. It happened. It was part of my life. So my life works out in the funniest, strangest, most cinematic ways. Like nothing can just be normal. It's just, thank you. So that's how I met my ex-boyfriend. Just ran into him by chance. Wasn't looking for anybody at the time. Wasn't trying to be a part of a relationship. So yeah, Cesar Contreras asks, what is your major inspiration to keep going every day? Um, what is my major inspiration? Today is a new adventure. There's absolutely nothing that I can't do today or tomorrow or the next day. There's no reason for me to stop. There's so much that I want to do in this world before I pass that it's not physically possible for me to do it all, but I want to get as much of it in as I possibly can. And if I stop for even one day, if I let myself get down and just beat up over anything, then I can't. I can't keep doing the things that I want to do and I will never accomplish half the things that I want to do. So just remember that you are special. You are the only you in this world. And there's not a second you shouldn't love who that person is. That comes right off the wall over here on my left side. And it's because you are amazing. And remember, you can be your greatest inspiration if you just tell yourself how wonderful you are because really you guys inspired me. Every single one of you inspires me to keep going every day, to keep doing every day. And I know you guys probably, I just kind of thought about it. This ring that I'm wearing, it has nothing to do with anything. It's on my right hand, don't worry. I've had this ring for a couple different years and I got it when I was at a low in my life. And so whenever I hit kind of a low, I put it on and I remind myself that this little band, it's not going anywhere. It's not just gonna disappear. It's not just going to fade away. It's not just going to fall off my finger. It's there. And it's a reminder that I'm here. And as long as I'm here, I need to serve my purpose. This ring serves its purpose. It reminds me, just like my tattoo reminds me. It's just a reminder on my hand that things will keep going. And I will keep go existing no matter what happens. Because this ring's been through a lot and it's still not broken. So I can go through a lot and still not be broken. Okay? So just remember, you're special. Okay? Nothing's going to break you. And... I'm here for you, just like you guys are there for me, right? Love you guys, like, lots. Next question comes from Jesse, and it is, do you have any celebrity crushes? Yeah, I think everybody has some celebrity crushes. So, some of mine, um, Chris Evans, Captain America. Gotta love a man in uniform, you know? Just, mm. Um, Liam Hemsworth, uh, if you don't know who that is, he plays Gale in The Hunger Games, um, and a bunch of other things, he's pretty. Um, what's his name? I can see his face. Colton Haynes. Uh, love Colton, his jawline. Something about it is just something very attractive. Um, I discovered him on Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf is like one of my favorite shows. And then, you know, on top of that, there's like Dylan O'Brien and Tyler Hecklin and just, that show is full of beautiful shirtless men. Um, the, what's their names? The Carver Twins. I love them so much. Oh my goodness. Like, yeah, I have a lot of different celebrity crushes, if you can't tell. Just a lot of men that are just, nah. So, yeah, there's some, there's a couple of my celebrity crushes. Um, last question that I'm going to end off with today. Um, I had a couple different questions asking about it. So, um, basically, a bunch of people wanted... Last question that I'm going to end off with today is just kind of a compilation of like a bunch of different questions because a bunch of you guys asked about this and it's uh how did I come out to my dad and my brothers and I realized like it's something that I never really talked about but I guess it's because there's like nothing really to talk about um when I came out I came out to my best friends and then I came out to my mom and then after that I just put it out there I just put it on the internet and I was like hey guys I'm gay like that's it like I put it on an Instagram post midnight New Year's Eve you know no big deal to me at all and um, I never have actually like sat down and looked at my brothers and my father and been like, I'm gay. 
Like, that's just never been a part of my life. I never did it. And I didn't feel like it was something that I had to do. At this point in my life, we weren't as close as um, we have kind of come to be. And so, like, for my twin brother, it was just kind of like a mutual, like, thing. Like, we, like, he knew. Like, I mean, there was just, it's just something, me and my brother are so close. Like, we don't have to tell each other really what's going on because it's just, I don't know, we have that twin bond, I guess. So, like, he just knew. And as far as my older brother and my father, I just didn't care to tell them when I came out. Um, because the only opinions that mattered to me were my best friends and my mom's at the time. Um, if I had let every single opinion get in my head and control me, like, everything could have been horrible for me. But the, when I accepted the fact that there were only a few people that truly, like, their opinions truly mattered to me, and then once I had their acceptance, nothing else mattered. Like, anyone else could come in and go out of my life. I honestly can't say that I've told any family member besides my mom. I mean, I've told a lot of my friends, and I've told some other adults, but I just, I don't think I've ever come out to another family member. It's just kind of known now. I put it out there, and have just been this way ever since. So, yeah, that's me being gay to my family. All right, guys. I'm gonna wrap up this Q&A video. Um, hopefully I answered your question. If I didn't get a chance to, I'm sorry. Um, but I answered as many as I could. So uh, maybe next time we do a QA, and a I'll be able to get to something that you ask. Um, I'll let you guys know next time I do one of these. I don't know, I like doing one of these, letting you guys know more about me and answering questions that you have that you want to know about me rather than me just blurbing around. So um, I'm gonna post the uh, winner's names of the stickers if you asked a question. Um, down in the description down below so look down there for your name if it's down there shoot me an email to my business email so that way I can get back with you so I can send you the sticker um, I think that's just kind of the best way for me to handle it rather than try and get a hold of you and maybe not being able to get in contact you know all that crazy stuff so just shoot me an email if your name is listed down below also the yoga sites that I mentioned were down below and um, yeah so that's gonna be it for this video I will see you guys later